broadcasting from the basement of La Penta, it's WICR. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault. Jersey Joe Archino back here. And while it does feel like baseball is back because it's on the TV, it certainly does not from a weather standpoint. Yesterday in New York, just a gross, miserable, rainy, cold day. Obviously, the Yankees having their home opener rained out because of it. And then today, it is just cold. And of course, we kind of knew going into whoever sat through the Yankees home opener today and seeing the loss, they all kind of knew, you know, you get the loss but sitting through the cold, it just makes everything a little bit more painful. But I think if you look at the the first couple days so far of the season that we've seen now, the one team that has to, of course, uh, would have had the biggest accomplishment would have been the L.A. Dodgers winning again 15-0 against the Padres. The biggest home shutout, the biggest shutout on opening day in MLB history. And it's one of those things where, again, you don't read anything into Major League Baseball for a long time. I mean, really, you don't start to really, really understand anything until two months in. I, you just can't. The season is way too long in this sport. Everything just really always comes down to the end. It really, right now, it's just we've got baseball back, and you're just enjoying it without thinking about things too much. But certainly the Dodgers are one of the interesting cases because – they lost, I think, what made them so special when Zach Greinke left for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And certainly last season, they had their major issues when it came to the bullpen. And they really lacked depth behind Greinke and Kershaw. And I think more than anything, the biggest problem this season that they're going to face is the depth in the starting rotation. It's funny because... Everybody knows how closely I follow the Dodgers. I try to watch the Dodgers every single night. The Dodgers and the Yankees, probably my, the two teams that I watch more closely than anyone. So people are asking me well, and said, and you know, I can't even name any starting pitchers on their staff outside of Kershaw. And it's one of those things where that's not a knock on the fan because that's the truth. There is no big names in this Dodgers starting rotation outside of Clayton Kershaw. Now, Kershaw in his first game was brilliant, as he always is. I mean, he is the model of consistency. To me, there are so many talented pitchers in this league, but Kershaw is just, to me, I always got to put him up there as my best guy. And maybe he doesn't, he, he, he uses a lot of mechanics in his throws, but when you look at his pitches from a consistency standpoint, I don't think there's another pitcher who consistently gets the ball in the same spots as effortlessly as he does. Again, it doesn't always look easy because of the mechanics required, but when you've done that same type of movement over and over and over again, it becomes like secondhand memory. And for him, that's certainly the case. But we look at the Dodgers, and I think this scoreline is what is go it's going to take for them to be successful this season. They're going to win behind offense this year, and that's just the, the truth of it. The bullpen is a little bit better than last year, still not much. I mean, they have great, great players in that bullpen. Some really nice guys like J.P. Howell, Casey Jansen, Kenley Jansen, but behind, after them, there are issues. And I think other than Kershaw, there are so many issues and so many just wild cards in the rotation. And Hyunjin Ryu, we know, is a guy when healthy, put up some good numbers, was a very consistent third guy behind Greinke and Kershaw, but he has been so battling, so unhealthy, battling the injuries, starting the season once again on the 15-day DL. It's one of those things where can you depend on him to be healthy? And right now you can't say that you can. And outside of Kershaw, you've got nothing but question marks there. Where the Dodgers do have a little bit more certainty, though, is on offense. And I think in the first game, to get the 15 nothing win, is certainly setting them on the right course. And they got off to a really hot start last season as well, especially offensively. They just had better starting pitching last season than they seem to do now. But you look at the guys that they have, a lot of the pieces are going to come down to Seager, Peterson, Puig, the young guys. Puig, the big concern, is all mental. I don't think anyone doubts what he can do from a playing standpoint. But he's caused trouble with the way that he acts, with the way he conducts himself. 
the Granky and Puig relationship was terrible. I'm not sure if there's a lot more volatile relationships in Major League Baseball than there was between Puig and Granky. We all know how that one ended. Granky took more money and went over to Arizona. Puig has got to grow up. He's got to become more mature because offense is what's going to win for the Dodgers this year. I think Dave Roberts, who we know is the Dodgers' new manager, he knows what the formula is going to be to win for this team. He knows he's gonna not going to have the same luxury that this team has had the last couple seasons with having those great arms in the starting rotation because outside of Kershaw, you just don't have that this season. It's going to come down to the offense. And on the offensive end, there's not a lot of teams in baseball who have the same level of depth on the offensive end like the Dodgers do. You look across their their star-studded lineup, and my goodness, they have got a lot of bats, and even guys coming off the bench, they've got tremendous amounts of talent. I mean, when you can sw- can switch out a guy like an Andre Ethier for someone else, that's true depth, and that's true depth that not a lot of other teams have. But Jacques Peterson, of course, has got to take his game to another level. He showed the ability to have tremendous power in this league, but what he did not show was the ability to get, be a consistent hitter in this league. And I think now that he's gotten more at-bats, he's really had a full season under his belt, he's going to continue to grow because he's a guy who's worked very hard this offseason. You watch, you follow the Dodgers offseason programs, and you know he was always around, always trying to get better. And for him, this is a big season, and, and especially for guys like Seager, guys like Turner. This is a huge season for them because they, they need the bats now more than ever, but a very promising start to the season for the Dodgers. On opening day, I think you got to say that they won it with the 15 nothing win over the Padres. Again, whenever you're able to make history on opening day, you kind of steal the spotlight a little bit. And of course, the Dodgers with the 15 nothing win over the San Diego Padres, they steal the spotlight for opening day, but it's going to take a long time to really, really see anything of substance in the, in the MLB. I mean, the first two months of the season, I just kind of look at them as you just sit back, you don't overthink, and you just enjoy baseball because you can't read anything. There's so, it's such a long season. There's so many games. The summer period as it is takes forever, and you just enjoy baseball being back. People get their reps back. People get back into form. That's what these first couple weeks, these first couple months are for, and then you can worry about the serious stuff later. But for now, Just enjoy the fact that baseball is back. I think I know most people probably are. But until then, Jersey Joe Archino here with the Sports Vault. You can follow me on Twitter at Joe Archino and on Instagram, Jersey underscore Joe underscore Archino. And I'll see everybody next time.